Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And uh, in today's video, I would like to explain to you how you can add additional description, additional text to a column in lists and libraries in SharePoint Online. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So uh, here I have a list that happens to be a list of projects. Uh, this is not a library. Uh, by the way, I will show you the same technique on the library a little bit later, but uh, there are a few limitations. Uh, but here is a list. And you know, as users, you know, add new entries, right? They essentially have to uh, fill in the choices. Now, what I would like to do is, I would like to provide additional uh, kind of description, um, you know, beside each column, so that they uh, kind of uh, know what to, uh, what kind of information to fill out, and when to choose one, uh, you know, field over the other. Uh, let me explain to you how to do that. So, for that, what you need to do is uh, edit the column. Uh, just like that and you know this is the name of the column here's a description field all right and you know we in this case this is probably uh, obvious but uh, let's just provide some additional support um, you know some uh, additional text uh, for so the users understand what we're talking about so we are going to say uh, please uh, choose one all right all right here are, here are our instructions uh, let's click save all right so let's see uh, where this information appears. So now when they click new to fill out the choices, right over here, right under the field, essentially that's where the support um, you know, text will show up and uh, users at least will understand you know, what to do about this particular selection, right? Um, so that actually can be quite helpful. Again, in my case, probably uh, you know, uh, you know, most of the fields are um, you know, obvious, but uh, sometimes, right, when you have multiple selections, or you want to provide additional guidance to the users. Now, let, let me talk about some limitations, all right? Uh, if I click new, the field does show up, all right? So that's not a problem at all. However, let's say I want to edit an existing entry right here. In this case, in this case, um, the, you know, additional text will not show up, all right? So when it's kind of in this compressed view over here, it's not going to show up. Uh, however, however, if I double click, all right, and now we have this expanded view, all right, now in this case, again, the field will show up. So the limitation here is that um, essentially, um, you know, when you are editing metadata in this side panel over here, unfortunately, unfortunately, just because there is not enough real estate over here, uh, there is no way to show up that additional, uh, you know, text. Now, with the document libraries, let me show you the document library. Um, let's maybe do the same thing on the document library. All right, I'm going to edit this column. Uh, and, uh, you know, here I have a few choices. And maybe in our case, we'll say, please uh, select all that apply. All right, so that's going to be our, um, you know, our uh, additional support in text. Here we go. Perfect. And uh, now, very important, uh, again, you know, and this is kind of a limitation when you, let's say, tag a specific, you know, document over here. Again, uh, not enough real estate, uh, the values, uh, this additional text will not show up. However, if you click Edit All over here to kind of expand the view, all right, in our case, uh, right, so it's kind of a larger panel, almost twice as, uh, you know, big. Um, in this case, we do have additional real estate, and that's why we have this additional, uh, additional, um, you know, tax appearance. So um, I think this is still a useful feature. Um, obviously, in some cases, it doesn't show up, but uh, in any case, I think this is still a useful feature uh, that might, you know, might assist your users when they're filling out uh, information on the list or metadata on a document library. Uh, that's really all I wanted to show you today. Uh, as always, um, uh, thank you for being my loyal follower and hope to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.